captain for the Mavericks, and it mattered. That may be the only way to describe Kyrie Irving and his incredible handle. The sharpshooting playmaker is the focus of the offense as they get pumped up before the tip-off against the Celtics. Mavs, Celtics, the NBA Finals continue. Will it end tonight? That's the question as one team battles to shut the door on the season. Another hopes to stave off defeat. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. And the Gafford is out there with Maxi Cleaver. As Jones in at the three spot. And for the Celtics. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Let's take a look at Dallas. They've had some chances in this series, but haven't been able to take advantage. Greg, tonight is their last chance. And Kevin, there are no tomorrows, uh -huh. unless it's vacation planning. <laughs> but talking to them, they're not ready to concede. If they win, they're going to go up to the six. And if they can win there, boy, anything is possible in the game seven. And so is the Celtics staying on the board first. This guy's That's such a tough the Mavericks in so many ways. The Mavericks shoot the first free throws of the game. The line for the Mavericks. Luka Doncic. first a little over a minute and a half in just four to shoot Jones hits for two beat the shot clock but it's off the mark the Celtics have gone two to five here making 40 percent so far to start out the game Brzingis he hangs in there and crashes in on the second chance points well you've got size and length so Kristaps Porzingis the extra possession Doncic against Holiday 
Doncic. Guarded close. Excellent play there from Holiday. Here's Tatum. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Well, do not let Jason Tatum get space in transition. He will make you pay. If you're just tuning in, we play about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's your pick. Porzingis with the block. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. The shot by Holiday, no good. I think he's got to settle down. Because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Jones, no luck. But you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he rocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here in the game. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Substitution on the pull. Austin making some changes. Al Horford's checked in for Przingis. And it's Pritchard in for Drew Holiday. Mavericks trailed by seven. Left side, Irving. And that time, also a miss shot. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Brown pushes the light. And that one is off. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for down. He feeds it to Jones. Over in the corner, Washington. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Brown. Brown jams it in! Goodness, how about that move by Jalen Brown? That is spectacular. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Green to pass to Washington. Here's Weiser. Outside Irving. Just five on the clock. Again on the third. Two minutes. They didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. A shot by Pritchard, no good. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Second chance shot, and that's two points on the way. You can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Dallas calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Both teams will make substitutions. We've got 128 left in the first. Pass to Washington. To halt the run. And Pritchard pulls it down. Austin leading by 11. To the inside. Tillman. And he goes strong to the one in a jam. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now, here is Irving. No scoring in this one. Pass to Washington. Three-pointer. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Washington. Kyrie never hesitates. As soon as he sees that open man, boy, it is on time. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the first. There's Brown with the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Got his hand out and left on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk Washington. about this time and time again. Yes. Trying to stay connected Josh, to the shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Here's Hauser following the score by Dallas. Here's Horford. A rebound by Washington. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. 
Irving looking over the floor. And the pass to Washington. Takes the three. You can't get that one to fall. And we reach the end of the first quarter. It's the Celtics. And we'll be back right after this. The Mavericks. Eight. from Portside at Game 5. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. Average trailed by 8. Derek White is out there with Howard. Then there's Jason Tatum. And there's Porzingis. And it's Tillman in the four-man position. It's the Boston Five. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. Luka Doncic. And a closer look here at the score for two for Boston. They're controlling the pace of this game, pushing the ball up court and getting good looks in early offense. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. That one is off. Sinks the second. Now here's Holiday. Outside White. Off target with his three. Average trailed by seven. Passes it to Gunship. Some nice catching here by Dallas. First one falls. What impresses me about Jason Tatum are his work habits, his commitment in the offseason to adding something else to his arsenal. We know he can play high-level basketball on both ends. The sky is the limit. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Doncic. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. A three-pointer, no good. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Misses from short range. Mavericks trailed by nine. Exum deciding where to go with it. Doncic, no good. And, then, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's a plus five. In that category. Here's Holiday. He makes that one drop. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. That's by Jones Jr. And maybe 
just goes to him. Impossible day, not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can Boston, see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And now, the first time off for Buster. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down. Substitution. Call time Josh to just Green. let them get their legs back under them. Green is checked in for Dante Exum. Celtics leading by nine. And White gets to Holland. Here he goes. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Pass to Kleba. Now the dish to Doncic. Back to Kleba. Kaffer trying to break free. Kleba, no good. The Celtics have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Here's Tatum over Green. Tatum shot is off. Average trailed by nine. And Green gets it to go. Green. Here's Holiday. Pass to Tillman. Here's White. Mavericks with the rebound. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that coast. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. And it's Doncic missing. A good ball there. But overall, they're getting slightly out rebound. Here's White. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Josh Green. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often foul. you're going to get the whistle as Derek Back White did there. Austin shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First free throw is good. We talk about high effort players. Well, Derek White embodies that very description. Always working hard, always looking to outwork his opponent. And both free throws good for White. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Outside Irvin. Now the pass to Lively. Yes, it's Irving picking up the assist. Lively's got his first points of the night. That's their third straight make off an assist. Richard passes to White. Here's Hauser. Fires the three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. You can't just stop. There's a pick set up. You got to have another one. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. And the foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. That's an example to me of Kyrie Irving's craftiness, right? Understanding how to draw the contact from defenders. The Mavericks have gone two and four at the free throw line. From Kyrie Irving. If you listen to other NBA players, Kyrie Irving is one of their favorites to watch. He has as complete an offensive arsenal and as pretty a game as there is. Good on both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the strike right now. They keep fouling him and he keeps making them. Passes it to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Now with it, outside White. And the call is going to be... Yes, this is an illegal screen. Now beyond the leaning, you can see his...
his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. White against Green. Outside Irving. From downtown, hangs home the trifecta. Irving's got five points, Three points in the quarter. I mean, if you want to chase him off the line, that's fine, but that ability to triple drive, this guy is impossible to guard. Kyrie Irving. Pass to Hauser. Shoots. And Lively pulls it down. And so is Jones. He'll bring it up for Dallas. It's a five-point game. Pass to Lively. Here's Irving. Five points in the game. The pass to Lively. Fires from way outside. The turnover to the 24-second buzzer. Second, 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 second in the shot clock game. violation. Boston ball. Zinkus. He's checked in with the on the play. Mavericks also with the sub. Axum's checked in. Forty-one seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Pritchard. Passes it to Persingas. And he could not get there one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. This is the thing about Christopher Persingas. He has both size and skill. A line percentage play right there. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Porzingis. I think what really pops about Kristaps Porzingis is seven foot three, yes, but it's the sweet shooting stroke and the deep range. But let's not forget, when this guy came in the league, he was a absolute force as a shot clock. And both free throws good for Porzingis. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Now, here's Axel. He's covered by Brown. Shot clock at six. From 11 feet away, the shot comes out. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. And so it's Boston. Looking to put it forward with a seven-point lead. Defensively, they have gotten one after seven. contesting every the shot Mavericks. going up. And now we'll one send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again. Welcome to our postseason halftime show. Ernie Johnson along with the Diesel and the Jet. Looking at the Celtics, they've been in control for most of this series and put together another solid half of basketball tonight. You know they can smell that championship, hoping to close things out now in the second half of this game five. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. You get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. That's how we built this league. Kenny, how do you think Dallas played? Obviously, that was L Y. It's ugly. Shooting under 30% from the field, disorganized. Chucking up bad shots. Man, I tell you, they have to adjust their play and they gotta get better looks. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And your Celtic Youth Dance Team. And it's time for more of the NBA Finals 
on 2K Sports. What a time of year. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. You get the sense when there's big time performances to be had, this guy wants to take part. You expect that this is a trend that will continue here. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jason Kidd. The star backcourt of Doncic Chin Irving are out there. Jones is out there with Maxi Kleber. Oh, he's in for an in at the five Mavericks ball. Here's Irving. 11 feet out and he hits it. Kyrie Irving's got seven points. So smooth on the mid-range. Kyrie dialed in. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. That one a little long. Average trailed by five. Here's Dyson. No good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. I'll say it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Here's Doncic. Following the basket by Jalen Brown. There's the lob to the hoop. And then Jones with the jam. Assisted. Tension with the draws. That's why his teammates get so many wide open looks. And here's Holiday. Outside for Zingas. And it's off from three point range. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Trailing by five. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. A shake. Tips it. Hard work. Not and he's out hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No timeout. simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Now a timeout called by Boston. Hey, Kevin, he saw it's in his face, guys. Just a so little bit sluggish out minutes. there. Oftentimes a timeout like this one. Once again, just again four. Four. Six. Austin A gonna switch here. Tillman's checked in. Celtics leading by three. Now Holiday over to the left wing. Here's Tillman. Shoots over Gafford. And that one hits back iron. All right, time now to pick it up. One for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Irving, good. Irving. Well, this is one of the best in the league at converting off contact. What body control by Kyrie Irving. On the win, Holiday. He kicks it to Tatum. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got the assist now on this one. Dallas calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate. With some Gatorade, that's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. Especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here comes Brown, leading the first break. Pass to Tillman. It's blocked. Now, here's Doncic. Right around three minutes into the second half. Misses the win. He had him with that bump up. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offense again, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. The three is driven by Tatum. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped him seize control. On the win, Irving. On the win, Dodger. Guarded by Holland. Pass to Kleba. Fires the three. 
connects from three-point range. Kleba. Kleba's got five. Well, more and more, you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. Holiday, the pass to Tillman. White looking around. The pass to Tatum, just five to shoot. And he can't answer back, the three-pointer offline. Average trailed by four. Two minutes remaining in the third. 158 left in the third quarter of the game. Back to Irving. High post try. They grabbed their own miss. Gafford misses. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Tatum down low. Guarded by Doncic. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Mavericks ball. Both teams are still throwing it up. One twenty-nine left here in the third quarter, and the Mavericks call time here. And with their offense sputtering, coaches gotta get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they okay, do man. get an easy one, the confidence Ooh, the isn't teacher. there. Get up on your feet. DJ Washington needs to get in for Dallas. Celtics Entertainment. One twenty-seven left in the third quarter. Now here's Exum, guarded by Helen. No one cover. Kyrie Irving's Irving. got seven points here in this quarter. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Tatum down low. Washington's on him. Tatum no good. And so it's Irving with it. And it off the down. It's a one-point game. Weaver with it. He's got five. to shoot. Passes it to Washington. Yep, that Keith one goes. Washington. Washington's got Assist the lead up to one now for Dallas. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. The three for Tatum. Kleber with the rebound. Kleber's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Lively. Kicks it to Irving. 16 seconds left to play in the third. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game is too close to be making those kinds of errors. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Tatum. Boston again missing. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. And no luck with that time on the bus will be the end of the third three quarters of play. The first game here. The Mavericks lead by one. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Three tenths quarters behind us. Another go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. And it's Richard in a pair. It's the Boston Five. A mini shot by Brown. Certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly. Doncic dishes to Jones. The Lively. From deep, Washington. Porzingis with the rebound. And the great shooters know the 
when they got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Here's Dushik. Following the basket by Jared White. Let's it go with the three. And it's Washington missing. Celtics leading by four. Outside, White. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Four on the clock. Four for the pass to Brock. Jacks up a three. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control. Two more than up to the task. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a up. critical junction. Time out called the Celtics. And team strategy is mostly guarded. One aspect of the game that the hands aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communication. You go to great lengths Daniel to try to Gafford. do it, but sometimes to no avail. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Dallas. Maxi Kleba comes in for P.J. Washington. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Joe Brazil was going over with his team. Now, with this game up for grabs, Coach told his guys to think positive. He said, we know this game is ours, fellas. We've earned it. And he used to show me right now that you won this. Can they get it done? We'll see. Guys, Thank you, David. Derek White. At the line for two shots. First one drops. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. And both free throws good for White. Mavericks trail by three. And here is Irving. Over White. Irving, good. Yeah, I thought in the first half this guy was pressing. He was rushing. Now he's settled into the game. Brown outside. It's rebounded by Dallas. Inside, here it goes. Daniel Gafford throws it down. Assisted well, by Daniel Gafford. Guys, Junior. teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. Outside, White. The pass to Brock. The three ball. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got eight rebounds in this game. Oh, he's really taking care of the ball. That's foul. just his first turn. Guns, Junior. Holiday. Second for Boston. personal foul, the first team foul. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. The Celtics have gone just 23% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got his fourth rebound in this one. On the wing, Irving. Back to Doncic. The three, and Horford pulls it down. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Some solid defense there from Irving. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. They lead by one. Floats one up. The putback, it's good on the putback. Yeah, yeah. Flat out Bulldog in the paint. Great job to follow his own shot there and get the basket. 
timeout calls the Celtics. Timeout. Yeah, and his shot selection, iffy at best tonight. A lot of forced, contested shots this game. He'll be lucky if he just Here gets a target to instead of a, a ticket to the bench. And he's pushing for the player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And he's had a very good night shooting the basketball. A little over 50% from the field. And a lot of those shots have come against some tight D. That shows the level of his focus and consistency. And the Celtics making a change here. Tatum's checked in. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Shoots the three. And it's rebounded by Dallas. Irving's got his fourth rebound with that last game. And that one clearly a foul gets the whistle. And two shots coming. Guys, you have to love the way Irving uses his body to create contact inside and earn the trip to the strike. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. I think the other thing they've done exceptionally well tonight is shoot the mid-range and take advantage of those opportunities. Anytime they're given a look, they have delivered. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And how big was that? He is just so reliable, so confident at the free throw. Two minutes remaining in the game. Here's Tatum. And he can't stop this drive. Another miss. Jones looking for an opening. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Kleber finds Dutchich. Six on the shot clock. Kleber, no good. Celtics trail by five. Over in the corner. Right. Outside, Brzingis. And again, Jones. Is again. And Jones pulls it down. Wow, what a rough second half. That's it. Maybe you adopt the fast first mentality in this way. Here's Dyson. Misses off the right eye. And he's smothered it on that big one. Well, he sees the play for that event, takes care of his responsibility to make the job of the defensive He can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to play the defender in that situation. You can find guys who can double the ball. And Gilbert throws it down. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Tatum shot is off. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Kristoff, Porzingis, third personal foul, second team foul. Irving, double team. Out to Dodgers. Front past the arc. Rebound, Boston. Sometimes you just let him off the and this is one of those games. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Tatum. Second shot opportunity. Good! And he is worth it within two points. Oh, you love the aggressiveness and the swagger that Persinkus has to take that shot. Yeah, such a clutch play with the lack of game. Two points to stop. That's the enemy in this season. Kyrie Irving taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Well, Irving isn't the guy I would want to send to the line. He is very comfortable with that shot. 
both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Okay. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. Time called here. The Celtics we decide to talk it all. They're down we by four. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Doncic against Holiday. White left side. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. You have to foul. Second I'm sure they would foul. like to foul for someone different. Foul. At the line for the Mavericks. Kyrie Irving. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. And so it's Dallas winning this one. People were riding their obituary before this game, but this win can't 